Welcome to Engineering World. How to be Bachelor of Engineering. What is electricity the flow of current and voltage? This tutorial will learn how to calculate the current, resistance, resistivity, conductivity, and drift velocity of electrons in pure copper conductor. This is the cross-sectional area of a copper conductor in square millimeter. This is the diameter of a copper conductor in millimeter. This is the temperature coefficient of a copper conductor. This is the resistivity of a copper conductor at 20 degrees Celsius. This can enter the value of length of conductor. This can enter manually the temperature of conductor. This value is the input voltage of 230 volt. This is the weight of copper in kilogram it will vary due to increase in length and diameter of a copper conductor. This is the equation of resistance value of copper at 20 degrees Celsius. This is the equation of resistance of copper will vary due to increase of temperature in degree Celsius. This the equation of electric conductivity for a copper is directly to the length of conductor and inversely proportional to the resistance and cross-sectional area of a conductor. This equation is the drift velocity of electrons in meter per second moving in the copper conductor. This equation is the result of current in ampere that flowing in the copper conductor. The result of current in I is equal to directly proportional to the velocity or speed of electrons in V cross sectional area of wire in A density of free electrons in D and charge of one electron in Q. For 150 square millimeters size of copper conductor with 100 meter length, and reach final temperature of 100 degrees Celsius, you can find the overall result of current, resistance, conductivity, and drift velocity of electrons. Reset all the values in the program calculation. Enter the current values of 1 meter length of conductor, and set the standard temperature to 20 degrees Celsius. Now, increase the size conductor to 300 mm square, and we will calculate the values of the given equations. As you can see the length of cables is slowly increasing, the values of resistance still remain, it is because it does not change the temperature of the conductor. As you notice, if the length of conductor is increasing, the drift velocity of electrons is moving slowly or decreasing the velocity. Because, at constant voltage of 230 volt, the drift velocity is inversely proportional to the length of conductor. We slowly increase the length of conductor to maximum 100 meter. Analyze all the values in the given equation how the current is reducing and while resistance is increasing. Now, reach the set maximum of 100 meter length of the conductor. Again, we slowly increase the temperature to 100 degrees Celsius of the conductor. Analyze the results how will affect the current and resistance in the conductor.
Look at the results is slowly decreasing the resistance of the conductor due to slowly increase the temperature. Now, you learn how the resistance will affect the copper conductor, if temperature is increasing the resistance of the conductor is decreasing. You see the conductivity is increasing as a result of decreasing in resistance of copper. In metals, conductivity is movement of free electrons. When temperature increases, the vibration of copper electrons particles is increases. This our lesson for today. See you again next episode. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to get notification. How to be Bachelor of Engineering